Well, David goes to go see his brothers. What he does not know is that every day the Philistines who are lined up against them that they're battling, one of them has come out. They have a champion, like in the movie Troy with Brad Pitt, that comes out and stands there each day and says, If you can fight me and defeat me, just me, the rest of us will be your servants. But if you lose, you're all our servants. And the Israelites are scared. They're terrified. This guy is huge. I believe it says he's nine feet tall. He is a big dude. Think Shaquille O'Neal showing up to me, 5'1", going around. Okay, it, this is huge. Well, David goes up to bring over the food to his brothers. And he brings it to them. And as he's bringing the food to his brothers, this champion of the Philistines comes out again. His name is Goliath. Goliath comes out and says again, if you, will be, if you will send someone to fight me and they win, we will be your servants. But if he loses, you will all be our servants. And David hears this and he is just furious. He says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? We have the God of heaven and earth on our side. Who does he think he is? Let's take him. And his brothers are like, David, you don't, little kid, you don't know what we're talking about here. You have no idea what you're saying. And David says, oh yes. What is the reward for the person who takes down this Goliath? And they go in to describe what the reward is that Saul has promised to the person who can defeat Goliath. So David says, I will take Goliath. I have the living God on my side. So Saul hears about this, and Saul says, Well, come up to me, David, and I will put all of my armor on you, and you can go fight him. And he puts his armor on David, and David's like, This is huge. I can't move. This doesn't fit me. It does not work well. So David goes over to battle this Philistine, Goliath. And on his way, he picks up stones from the riverbed and takes a slingshot. Nobody in this army with armor, with swords, javelin, nothing is going to fight this guy, this Goliath guy. And yet, here this boy is with nothing but a slingshot. And when he's talking to Saul, he says, you know what? When I was a shepherd out in the field, there were times that bears came out at me. And tried to get my sheep. There were times that lions came out at me and tried to get my sheep. But God gave me power and he allowed me to defeat them. I killed the lion and I killed the bear to save my sheep, implying God's going to give me power now. God is going to give me power to defeat this Philistine. He doesn't get to come up against the Most High God. So he goes out, he picks up the stones out of the riverbed, and he stands there before Goliath. Let me read you what it says in the NIV Bible. Then he took his staff in his hand, chose five smooth stones from the stream, and put them in the pouch in his shepherd's bag, and, with his sling in his hand, approached the Philistine. Meanwhile, the Philistine, with his shield-bearer in front of him, kept coming closer to David. He looked David over and saw that he was only a boy, ruddy and handsome, and he despised him. He said to David, Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Come here, he said, and I'll give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David said to the Philistine, I love this part. You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will hand you over to me, and I'll strike you down and cut off your head. Today I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds of the air and the beasts of the earth, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. The Philistine moved closer to attack him. David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him. David was not afraid. Reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell face down on the ground.
David rushes over to him and he cuts off the Philistine Goliath's head and holds it up. Such an, it keeps on going. More to this story for sure. But just to give you an idea of the strength that David had because of God.